Hey guys, what's up? It's Jason from the IT Folk and I'm going to show you how to um, get rid of the um, scareware pop-up that you might run into from time to time. It's very common on the internet at the moment. Um, what happens is you'll be browsing and all of a sudden your browser will lock up. You'll get a message that you've been infected with a virus. Um, you can't close your browser down, can't do anything um, and they ask you to phone this number after telling you how all your important data, security, all that has been compromised. Um, I'm going to show you the, this, how to get rid of that and just first of all tell you it's not a virus, it's just a, a scam, it's a trick, um, just a simple browser trick. Um, but keep in mind that there are viruses out there that do um, lock down your computer, um, at the same sort of scareware things where they ask you to phone a number, but the browser one is not a virus. Um, so I'm going to show you it now first of all, so let's just get the... The, the trick on the page now. I'm just going to restore my previous browser session because I've already been through this process so it will allow me to to bring up the pages that I was on before I, I, I got out of it. Important security message. So here's the... the Please call the number provided as soon up. as possible. You will be guided for the removal of the adware spyware virus on I'm your computer. This. Seeing these pop-ups means that you have a virus installed so I'm just muting the Google Chrome uh, volume just so that you can hear me. So here's basically what it does. It tells you that your <coughs> system's been compromised. You've got a virus. Uh, these are all the th scary things that you're th that are at risk. And you have to call this 0800 number, which they claim to be Microsoft. Now, it is not Microsoft. It is some guy, some company, some scammers in India um, who will pretend to be in Microsoft. If you ask them, they'll tell you they're from Microsoft. Um, they'll gain remote access to your computer by getting you to follow some instructions online. And once they have control of your computer, um, they can pretty much do anything they want. And ultimately, their goal is to convince you that they've removed the viruses. And then they'll ask for your credit card details and may even try and sell you some um, crap antivirus that that's not going to do anything or even try and sell you an antivirus program that a free antivirus program that, that you should be picking up for free um, so what you need to do at this stage is is you need to get rid of this and it's very easy if you know what you're doing <coughs> um, through normal means you simply can't get rid of this if you try and close it down nothing happens if you try and go to one of your other tabs nothing happens try and click the X nothing happens Alt F4 which is traditionally the the, the force close key Alt F4 does nothing. And to a novice, they think they're locked out of their computer and uh, unfortunately people do phone that number and do get caught up with a scam. The easiest way to get rid of this is simply to hit Control Alt Delete on your keyboard, which brings up your option to select a task manager. Select a task manager and in your Applications tab, which will be the first one that opens, you basically want to click on the Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox, whatever browser you're using, that's the one you want to click on. Right click, go to Process, look down the list if it's Internet Explorer, it'll say Explorer uh, or, or Firefox or whatever, but I'm using Chrome, so I want to look down. There's quite a few Chrome ones open, so it's quite it's perfectly fine to close them all, but I know it's this top one here, so I just want to right click on that, End Process end process and that's it so that is the end of that problem there is no virus on my computer I haven't had to phone anybody um, and that's that's got rid of that problem um, as I said keep in mind there are viruses out there that once you're infected they will do a similar sort of thing but it will mainly lock that pop-up will cover your whole computer screen um, and you you'll need probably professional help to to get rid of it anyway I hope that's um, been uh, useful for you I do appreciate that you if you have already got this problem you're probably not watching this video but hopefully you're watching it from a, a mobile device or smartphone or something you've you've got the problem and you're googling it to see how you can get rid of it um, do keep an eye on my channel because I'm gonna phone that number I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, let them get access to uh, a, a a fresh install of uh, on a, a machine that has a fresh install of Windows and I'm gonna let them I'm just gonna see what they do um, and, and string them along for a bit um, purely for educational purposes so hit that like button hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video